sorry, the camera cut off. This is part two. I'm going to start filling in these holes with the colors of epoxy that I chose here, which is gold, olive, and white. So I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial about what we do. Um, so I got my little cup here, my little stick. We're going to take the part A of our resin. Remember you have to do equal parts resin to equal part hardener. So keep a, try to be as accurate as possible when you're doing that. I always eye it because that's how I do everything. Even when I cook, I eye everything. So I'm going to take a little bit of this pigment here, gold pigment. And what, the color we're trying to get is this. So it doesn't take much epoxy. So I'm just putting a little bit in at a time. Gold. We'll do a little bit more gold because we want it on the heavier side of the gold color. I'm going to do white. Pearl white, as, you may, as it may. Should be wearing a mask when I do this. I never do I'm terrible. Look at that. Look at all the dust popping up. So I'm going to get a smidgen. Just a little bit of the white. Right there. And add that in. And we're going to get a decent size scoop of this olive here. There you go. So now that we have your part A with your mica powder, I'm just going to mix that up real quick. Try to get replicate that color, that gold color that we have there, which is pretty darn close. So once you got that mixed in, we'll mix in your part B. Equal amount part B as part A. Once again, like I said, I eyeball it. That looks good. Now this has to be mixed for a minute. So I will be back to you guys in one minute. All right, guys, so we're back. We're done mixing. You're going to get a little liquidy, whoops, sorry, a little liquidy form like this. And now we're going to start to apply. This will start to, to cure and harden within five minutes. And obviously we're dealing with a syndrome. Uh, I'm stupid. I can't think of a word right now. We're dealing with a round surface. So we're going to have to spread this finely. And it will drip. So you're going to have to pay attention. And as it drips, start to pick it back up and put it back into place. Because if not, it's going to drip all over. And that's just more mess that you have to clean up at the end of the day. Unfortunately, when working with epoxy, some of the, our sticks, our high-end sticks, have epoxy in them. And the reason why they're a little more expensive is because this isn't... I'm going to do this more than once. This isn't going to be just a one-time thing where I put the epoxy in and it lays and we're done. I'm going to have to sand this down, reapply until it's smooth, sand it down, reapply until I get, you know, everything blended in together. And once again, if you start to see a drip, you can, you can push it down a little bit or you can bring it back up. Eventually this will stiffen up and stay and it, it, you're never gonna get perfect on the first try around. But uh, there you go guys. This is how we do epoxy at the Adirondack Walking Stick Company. See, it's starting to harden. It's starting to get a little gooey already, so it'll stick. Which is what you want. You don't really want the drip if you can avoid the drip. But, uh, all right, guys. Until next time, this is another adventure of the Adirondack Walking Stick Company. See you guys later. <laughs>